So I went to university for a Bachelor of Commerce degree uh, because I loved business and you know when you enjoy what you're doing I always believe that you're going to be good at it. And as soon as I got there I found it a little daunting you know all the economics courses I was like oh my gosh I didn't realize how you know complicated this is going to be. Uh, but I pushed through and I really did enjoy it but I knew I didn't want to just graduate and then get a business job. I didn't even know what that was going to look like. Um, I knew I wanted to run a business. I loved being sort of entrepreneurial and I wasn't sure how I was going to do that but in third year university I definitely identified my first opportunity which was the supply and demand gap of student rental properties in the college town that I was living in. Like I was so nervous. There was absolutely nobody in my life, not a friend, not a family member that said this is a good idea. They all said you're crazy, what are you doing? So I felt pretty, uh, pretty driven to figure this thing out. I didn't go to school to become a real estate investor. I didn't go to school to become a contractor. I did those things because it was helping me get to the next goal. Being an entrepreneur has taught me a lot. Um, it's not easy. That's the first thing I'll tell people. We're usually taught, hey, if you do something now, you're going to get paid for this hour that you work, right? You get paid by the hour. So you work an hour, you get paid an hour. You work for a day rate, you get paid for a day rate. You're going to give up a year of your life, you get an annual salary. Being an entrepreneur is totally different. Really worth it in the end, um, but it takes a special discipline up front.